Hey everyone and welcome to another art book overview. Today I'm going to be looking at the Chihai Furu art book. This is a bunch of collected works by Yuki Suetsugu uh, for her hit series Chihai Furu. If you have really no um, prior experience with Chihai Furu, it's a Jose sports series about Karuta, which is sort of like... Um, it's a competitive card game where they have sets of poems from uh, the hundred poems and you're supposed to match up the two verses of the poetry before the other your before your opponent um, I'm a huge 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 fan of this series and I actually got this particular collection of artworks from the amazing amazing hunters fan on Twitter. Uh, they were in Japan whilst the Chihaifuru event was going on and whilst he was there he picked this up for me. Um, I'm just I'm still so grateful because this it wasn't available or isn't available anywhere outside of the event so he really uh, helped me out a lot um, just acting as sort of the in-between <sighs> but this art book is gorgeous, although it's not really like some of the other art books I've shown off before. It's not really bound like a book, it's more like a collected um, series of posters. And I'll show you what that means, because it does function like a book, but at the same time it's unbound, because some pieces are larger than others. It's hard to explain, but I'll just get straight into it. Um, as you can see, it has this bag that it is in. I believe this was around 3,500 yen. No, 2,300 yen. So about 20 odd US dollars. And you can see without the bag it doesn't have any words on it, but it does have this gorgeous, gorgeous picture of Chihaya. Then the next page we have the R3 main characters and then followed by a full piece of Tai Chi. Now this one is actually a larger piece so if I take this part up you can see there's the whole two page spread for that one. And then we also have two other characters, Desky and Nikuman or Porky, depending on which you prefer. Then we have another one of Chahaya in an action shot. I absolutely th just love, love, love the art style for Chahaya Furu. I really like uh, Su Suetsugu's uh, artwork. This one is another full piece with our three main characters. Once again, I don't want to bend it too much. There you go. And then we have Chahaya, our main character once again, and my favorite darling girl, Kana, who, uh, if you don't recognize, she's pretty much every icon that I use for any sort of social media, including Twitter and uh, YouTube. So if you were wondering where she's from, this is the series, and actually the piece I'm using for my Twitter handle right now is actually in this collected artworks. And we have another full piece here. I'll just... As you can see... And I don't think any of these are really meant to be displayed on their own, which is why it's more so like a book. Oh, we have the current master. And Chihaya once again. Then we have the current queen. Uh, oh, and this one's a full piece as well. So it's got both Chihaya and Shinobu in a, on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I love the vibrancy. This particular artwork has been on, used on something. I can't quite remember what, but I really love it. I, I like the mood of this particular piece a lot. And then we have our girls, 
and Chahaya once again. And then another full piece of Chahaya. This is one of the, I think, iconic uh, artworks for this particular exhibit. So it's nice to have it in this book. And we have Chahaya and Arata. The, oh, the use of colours, the greens. Oh, this one was a full piece too. So not only do we have Chahaya and Kana, we also have the boys of the Karata Club as well. Tai Chi, Dusky and Porky. Yeah, this is... Then we have another just full Chahaya shot, or uh, head shot. This is the other half of that larger piece. Again, another Shinobu and Chahaya. I love, it's just so beautiful. And then this is the other half of an earlier part that we saw. So again, very, a lot of um, two page spreads with this, which function more as posters. But I would personally never want to break this quote unquote book up just because it is so um, beautiful, collected. I think it, it does still work. Uh, that's that other half. And then we have another Chahaya in full kimono. Uh, and then we have some other characters, more so from later in the series or the second season. Um, yeah, and we have Shinobu again. Second half, Arata, our other main male character. And another Chahaya piece. So there's, I am showing off every piece of artwork in this book because it's not a huge amount. Um, this is only collectively like 32 or so pages. Arata and another Chahaya. And on the back we have our elementary school versions of our three main characters. Ugh, if you couldn't tell, I'm a big, big fan of the series and of just this art book in general, although it's not quite the same as some of the previous art books I've shown off before. Another huge, huge, huge thank you to Huntress Fan because uh, Sogetsu doesn't have an art book out currently of any of her works, and I'm not entirely sure whether or not one will ever surface just because of uh, the controversy of, for some of her previous series. Uh, if you're not aware, she was um, accused of plagiarism several years ago now for one of her previous series, but it did mean that um, her current series was cancelled at the time, and I think some of her other series where the plagiarism had occurred was, uh, stopped, had been stopped printing. Um, insofar as that goes, I don't approve of plagiarism. I think it's, you know, not a great thing to do, but I do think sometimes art can walk a very fine line with that. It's it's hard to tell what is plagiarism and what is homage. I am pretty sure that it was just plagiarism though for her. So I, she's not a perfect person and her artwork has had some issues to say the least in the past, but her current series is one of my all-time favorites. I do think that she has a lot of good story and, and good characters and good everything to say despite what has happened in the past. And as far as I know, you know, she doesn't have any of those issues with this current series, so I don't feel bad about supporting it. Um, but if you haven't given Chahaya Furu a shot, it is available in English digitally on you know, Kindle and Nook and all those digital platforms from Kodansha. There's 11 volumes out currently. I just love, love, love the series. It's one that um, isn't exactly the most popular being a Jose series as well as like a pretty obscure, really only Japanese sport. So it's not really likely to see a print version coming out, although if there is, I would buy it in a heartbeat. 
Um, but yeah, this is a little bit of a different one just because it is event exclusive and it is sort of very elusive and it is one of my favorite series, especially you know, currently ongoing series. So I did want to take the time to showcase it. I don't know if there will be any opportunity for people to buy this unless you get lucky at like a Yahoo auction, but uh, it is one of my favorite parts of the collection currently. It's just so beautiful and I'm so, so, so happy to actually have it in hand and own it. But thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Bye till then.